In this recording, we'll review the installation and initial startup of MP Studio. After you have downloaded the bits from our website, be sure to read the installation guide before beginning. You'll want to have your purchase license or evaluation license handy and we'll paste that into the installation directory after installing the bits. This is a combined installer of MP Studio and MP Author. First we'll install MP Studio, followed by the installation of MP Author. The installation of the bits will only take a minute or two. Once the MP Studio installation is complete, it's important to proceed with the installation of MP Author because that will include some management pack files that you're going to need in the startup wizard for MP Studio. So proceed with the installation of MP Author. Once that's complete, we'll need to copy the license file into the installation directory. If you have an existing license, you may need to overwrite that existing license. Now we're ready to launch the application and step through the startup wizard. You may see a trial uh, nag screen, if you will, if you're doing an evaluation. Just click on try when the countdown is finished. If you've purchased, you may need to activate your license. I'll click try and there'll be a few basic dialog boxes here that we're going to step through to collect some information. First you need to specify the SQL server where we're going to create this database. You can use Express as well. Next it's important to use Windows authentication although you could use SQL server authentication it's recommended to go with Windows and then be sure to specify the database name. Now this is a default which is fine but if you've got multiple users any subsequent users who run the startup wizard need to make sure they're specifying the same server and the same database name. I'm just going to customize my database name. I'll put my initials on the end there so I know that's my database and click Next. Now I need to enter credentials for the testing service to connect to the database. And then optionally I can register a management server. This is recommended simply so you can see what it's like to have a management group registered in MP Studio. Specify credentials, so you could have read-only access. As long as you are able to connect to that management group using the Ops Manager console, you can connect with MP Studio as well. So here you need to specify location that the installation can find the source management packs. Here is why it's important to install MP Author along with MP Studio because you'll have access to those management packs that we need for basic operation of MP Studio in the management pack folder. That's it. We can go ahead and proceed. Click next. It's going to create the database, add all the management packs, initialize the database, and then we can launch the application. Once the management packs have been copied to the store, you're ready to launch the console for the first time. Click finish.